we're all excited about having the vaccines finally available to everybody. And I mean, CLL patients are no exception. So our recommendation is to, for all every CLL patient to go ahead and receive the vaccine. There's always the concern that maybe because CLL by nature, you have an immuno, uh, you have a, a dysregulated immune system, the response to the vaccine may not be uh, ideal or great. And, and on top of that, the use treatments for CLL that could, could potentially also um, uh, have, an, have a negative impact on, on, the, on the immune response to, to the vaccine. So that has been the concern. We are uh, actively many sites in the U.S., including here in Seattle, we are looking at that data. We are following immune response to the vaccine, both antibody and cellular response. And hopefully that data will be at some point presented and uh, uh, led by Dr. Yujani, my colleague. But we, we have had some, uh, like at least uh, a, a, a concerning report from, from uh, one center in Israel that showed that in patients with CLL who had the vaccine and, you know, especially those who receive, for example, monoclonal antibodies, the response, uh, the humor response to the uh, vaccine was not, was not really high and was actually very low. And same thing when you look at even novel agents. Now, I, I think we need to be careful. It's, it is concerning and the field is kind of closely monitoring the data that's coming out. We need to have more information. We need to look at endpoints other than the antibody response, uh, uh, you know, looking at the T cell um, um, information that will, will be available hopefully in future studies. But at the same time, we may start thinking about some adjustments within the standard practice. You know, we, we are lucky to have, you know, many treatment options for CLL. So if we have to, at least for a while, kind of limit our utilization rate for some specific treatments, we, we may consider doing that. But I would say, in principle, these things are should, should still be happening. Number one, CLL patients should receive the vaccine. So they will respond. I mean, the response rate is not going to be or may not be as great as somebody without the disease, but they will get a response. Number two, we don't know yet if the real effectiveness of the vaccine, even looking at the, 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 the endpoints, the measure, measurable antibodies or T cell response, we don't know the whole picture yet. So that, that, that's work in process. Number three, Despite the lower numbers, the rate of actual infections are not necessarily high or at least not reported. So th th there is a hope that even if these patients get the infection, the, the mild cases, I mean, we've seen that in a couple of reports. Number three, the pa pa our patients need to be more careful than general public, of course. I mean, don't, don't consider themselves uh, off the hoof and don't let your their, their guards down. Uh, so they, they still need to practice the the, the, the principles that we have been practicing for now more than a year, all of us. And then um, we'll, we'll see what happens with the new studies. And there, there will be at some point, uh, hopefully some the, um, decisions that the group, uh, the CLO community may, may make or recommendations that they may make. But at this point, everybody should get the vaccine. You just need to be careful and we'll continue to work to learn more about the effective, effectiveness of the vaccines in, in, in CLO patients.